Well, thank you, Jennifer. We decided to uh, to get rid of all the women in the group, and it's a uh, men's time in the kitchen. We're gonna make what better than a manly meal of mini cheesecakes? <laughs> That's a great question. What better than a manly meal That's of right. mini cheesecakes? So we're gonna if get started. If it's a mini cheesecake and it's a manly meal, wouldn't that mean like multiple mini cheesecakes? We are being manly and making mini cheesecakes because we are worried about portion control, as we <laughs> were discussing. And so these are gonna be mini cheesecakes and mini um, muffin tins and mini things. With mini Nilla wafers. With mini Nilla wafers. So let's get started and take a look at the ingredient list first because it's a good place to start. I what understand while these this? are mini cheesecakes, the taste is maxi. That's what we're going for at least. So Mark's going to put in all of those mini cheesecake muffin wrappers in the tin and we're going to look at our ingredients. Flutes. Which starts with one tablespoon of lemon juice a dash of lemon zest, mini Nilla wafers. It's important that you get the mini Nilla wafers, of course, they won't fit if they're not mini. And it's important that you get the, uh, not the low fat, you want the full flavor, full fat. One can of cherry pie filling, two eight ounce packages of low fat cream cheese, and that should be it. So, did you guys catch all of that? We're busy loading the flutes. <laughs> The flutes are almost finished, so we're going to get, Matt, let's get started mixing. Okay. I'm going to give you these two eight ounce packages of cream cheese here. And what you want to do is we're just going to toss it all in the bowl. And it's important that these cream cheese are at room temperature, that they aren't, they didn't just come out of the refrigerator. If they are cold, you might want to throw them in the microwave for just a few seconds. Otherwise, your mixture will end up rather clumpy, which means your cheesecakes will be clumpy. Clumpy. So, let's uh, get the other one out here. And then you're going to need, Mark, if you want to cut the lemon. We're getting one tablespoon of lemon juice and then just a pinch of lemon zest. Here's the other cream cheese. Or a dash, I'm sorry, not a pinch. A dash, important to note. What's the difference for someone who doesn't know how to cook like me? Well, I think it's really in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> I'm sure there is a technical measurement. Three eggs, no shells. And we're going to throw it. All right, two cream cheese. And we'll toss in the eggs. That's two eggs, one more. OK, and we're, what are we missing? The lemon. The lemon slices lemon. need to juice it. So juice the lemon. Mark, since you were so talented at the flutes. If you would like to begin putting these mini Nilla wafers in the bottom of the flutes, this is going to be the base for your cheesecake. Now, does it matter if it's the flat part down or the flat part up? Face up is what you want to do. So this would be the flat the, the part The round down. part would be the face. Is this enough lemon juice? <laughs> we need one tablespoon. So let's take a look there. I think that, that that'll be enough. That'll there. be plenty, right? Yep. It's now, while you're doing this, make sure you have your oven on at 350 degrees because that's where you're going to stick them in for about 20 minutes. Right in. Right in. Now, we're going to mix all of this up, and of course, you can do this by hand, but it's highly recommended that you do not. That's why we have the electric blender on here. It's nope. going to be very See? difficult. Almost made a mistake there. By hand to get it very smooth, and so the electric blender is going to be your best bet. So, Matt, take it away there for just a moment. Let's see how smooth you can get that. Now this recipe is coming from texasfarmersdaughter.com, so we thank them for their recipe. The last ingredient, Matt, that we have to throw in there. Do you want to hold up one second? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Three quarter cup of sugar is the last ingredient that we almost forgot, and that's of course going to be very important. It's going to be very important for that taste. Yes, it will be. So, and this is pure cane sugar here for those who prefer that. Mark, cut all the wafers. All in. the wafers in, Mark? Yes, sir. All right, stand back. I don't know. This is getting kind of full. <laughs> <laughs> Mark is, or Matt is pelting us all with flying sugar. And we're shooting to try Make to get Make sure you get down deep in it. You got uh, real smooth. down the bottom. Maybe angle uh, your bowl you a little bit. Yeah, very. It was just scratching the surface. <laughs> and Mark, if you look behind us there, we do have a finished product just for our viewers at home, maybe we can get a close-up of what Mark's holding here. You can see that it's just a little bit clumpy. Matt, that's looking really good. I'm a natural. <laughs> you are a natural mixer. So if we, uh, it looks pretty good there. Of course, you can 
keep going if you wanted to get the get a little smoother. But what we're going to do is then top those wafers off with this mixture here. And so if you have uh, little serving spoons there, Mark, you do the honors. I can't just pour it. It's got the. You can. What you want to do is fill it up about three quarters of the way full. We want to leave a little bit of room for that cherry topping that we're going to put on. It's very uh, viscous. You, <laughs> you might want to. Well, we. Uh, Could have used some more mixing. Perhaps. Fortunately, Matt, if you look behind you, we do have a finished product here. Save our viewers the time of the magic of television. That's right. So you can see here, these are just about three quarters of the way full. Now these have been baked at about 20 minutes and 350 degrees. And so that's what you're shooting for there. So the final, final step here that we will do is this cherry topping. Now, of course, if for all of you at home who maybe don't like cherry, there's always the option of, what are, what's your guys' favorite topping? Cherry. Cherry's, yeah, cherry's good for me. Nice choice. It's <laughs> February. you got to go with cherry. That's true. February cherry, I think, is. So. This one, Mark got a little aggressive on this one. <laughs> okay. So go ahead and top those off there, and this go is going to complete your mini cheesecake. How do you, what's the way to, what's the best well, way to do it? Well, you've got a serving spoon here. You can just kind of a dollop on top of there. And just one more time for all of you at home, farmers, texasfarmersdaughter.com is where the recipe ones? came from. Yeah. Yep. It's two eight ounces of cream cheese, three quarter cup of sugar, is that too much? three eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla, yeah, a tablespoon good. of lemon juice, a dash of lemon zest, and then these mini vanilla wafers for the base, and then cherry pie filling or whatever you like on top of your cheesecake there. Looking, Looking pretty tasty. Delicious. So we're going to give these a test try here in just a moment, but first we'll... Uh, toss it back over to Jennifer. I'm not sure if cheesecake <laughs> is on the menu, but there is a women's conference in Finley that promises spiritual fulfillment and maybe some cheesecake if, if we're all lucky, which is really the best kind of nourishment anyway. So Jennifer, take it away.